Welcome to Sustainable Sailing. It's the 4th of February. We arrived last night. It's very cold, so we've changed our plans a little bit. We've got two jobs that we wanted to do. The first is our steps in where we've removed all the old screws. It's temporarily held in with a few, uh, a smaller number of screws. But what we want to do is change it so that we've got French cleats underneath those three steps that it can just hang on um, and then we'll have some bolts just to stop it falling out if we should go upside down. And the reason we want to be able to take it off more easily is because, because our new battery access. bank yeah. is under the floor. <laughs> it's easier access to the battery bank in the future. So um, we may do that but it, I'm feeling it's a bit cold for me to go outside and cut all the wood up for that. So. Instead, the, the other job that we want to do is end up cutting this bulkhead so it comes something like that, which means the galley worktop here can then wrap around and we're going to have a new galley worktop or an extra galley worktop running here. So this will no longer be a seat, it will just be a foot box when you're sleeping. So when we cut this, then we can make the template for the worktop coming here and the template for the new bulkhead that goes there um, and comes out like that um, to support the worktop. So we started clearing the galley and now we're going to uh, take up this worktop so we can mark and cut um, this bulkhead. Part of what we're going to do is to remove the veneer, it's about a two, three millimetre um, veneer and the problem is a it's damaged on this side and you can see on well, that one we've painted it because it was so water damaged so it's damaged plus it doesn't cover the whole bulkhead anyway so um, it's going to be look better to just take the veneer off and paint um, the plywood so that's today's job We'll get on with it, but if I stop speaking we can turn the fan heaters back on and keep the boat warm. I don't know if you can see, but there's snow on the mountains over there. It looks horrible over there on the mainland, but we've got sunshine. The beautiful line I drew, so th this is where it's really odd, but the wire coming th in the inside of the bulkhead here, it's a bit of a... Oh yes. Coming out here, I think we'll just... Draw the hole. Pull it out. That was for the bulkhead Can light. You take it that side and show That was the cable for the bulkhead light. Hmm. don't really like having holes through my bulkhead. It doesn't seem to have a lot of strength. This is a mock-up to show what we're planning for our extension of the galley. So the original galley is on this side and this piece is the end that we're planning of the position of the second worktop which is going to come along here all the way to the hull. Possibly with something above there, either storage or maybe one of our cooking pots on a gimbal. Um, so we'll still be able to lean against this bulkhead when we want to wedge ourselves in the galley, but we will put fiddles on the edges of the uh, worktop so that things won't fall off. Um, and then the second bulkhead, which leaves a foot box underneath, will come along at this position here to strengthen things up again since we've cut away quite a bit of work. Uh, bulkhead from here. So this is our companionway steps. This is the back of them. So we're going to have a French pleat here, here and here and then some strip 
French cleats here and here. So I'm starting by cutting this off, we'll then cut that to make the three French cleats. Okay, the first 45 degree. It's jamming. So Jane is sanding the edges, the chamfers, uh, to make sure that these are going to fit in. Meanwhile, I've got the circular saw cutting the 45 degree slices for the French cleat. We've made our three French cleats ready to get, well, epoxy and then fit. So the 45 degree slopes that gets fitted to the bottom of a step, that gets fitted to the bulkhead, this drops on and uh, rests in there. So that's the three steps, then we will have a bolt through the middle there, right the way through, which stops the step lifting off if the boat goes upside down. But then one bolt, well maybe two, and we can lift the whole steps off when we are using them the whole weight is taken on that long bearing surface three of them so they should be nice and sturdy as well as quick to remove this is our first job for this weekend which is this is our new extra galley worktop and this will be the forward bulkhead for it that side to go against the hull that's to stretch out and support the worktop. So they're cut roughly to size, so we could bring them here. Next job is to get them as a good fit on the boat. We have an addition since we last looked, which is our side deck now has the aluminium strips, which will go on top of the bulwark here. And then they have over here in the cockpit, this, rubber which is kind of like you see on an escalator handrail that um, ends up being the uh, tow rail all the way around the boat so once the weather improves that'll be our next job it is a beautiful day in Beaumaris today but we're expecting heavy rain all day tomorrow so we want to get this wood cut and in before the weather. Dave's just going to cut the edge of the piece we've made for the worktop so that it follows the line of the hull better. So first uh, dry fit we've got the the end cut and the cut out for the old bulkhead. Got to curve the underneath there and then we decide where we're going to have a nice curved end. We've got this rail now to fit set so the worktop will be level with the existing worktop so we're just going to drill and screw that into place. Just dry fitting, we are, and this is uh, clear coat, epoxy coated at the moment. Once we've built it all, everything's going to be fully coated in epoxy, and we've got a food safe um, grey uh, pigment epoxy which will cover the whole worktop um, as the final finish. But that allows me now.
a more accurate test fit. Hello, we're just looking at the uh, dry fit of this extra galley space and it is really amazing how much difference this extra piece of worktop is going to make because this area is full of all the things you need for modern cooking and this is going to be an empty space which you can use for preparation. It's going to really make a big difference and we don't feel it's detracted very much from the rest of the cabin either. Um, we'll see how that goes. Okay, we have the worktop and its supporting bulkhead uh, dry fitted now. So this area here is like a huge fiddle but also we're going to be able to fit mugs hanging along the top of it or on a little shelf and you can see now the cutout here for your feet when you're lying on the double bed here the fit is not brilliantly precise that's partly because we have to cut some corners off to get it through the hatch um, at that top corner we've got a bit more to cut away to leave space for the chain plate knot and then we're going to tab all of this to the hull from this side then we can remove the worktop from here to get access to the back there to tab it in on that side as well so that we end up with this bulkhead tabbed to the deck the hull then we can refit the worktop and seal it all um, with uh, epoxy this deep space here we think we're going to put the instant pot as a, a gimbaled cooker there on draw slide so it can come out to load it just as we will have the induction hob and microwave gimbaled in this alcove here. Double sinks are there and then we're going to put under this edge uh, a cutlery drawer. Oh and one other thing we're going to do is somewhere here we're going to have a full height pole to, as a really good handhold when you're coming down. We're probably going to have another one on this side as well. We have wondered moment we've got a temporary leg here we have wondered about having a pole just going up to here so that this corner of the worktop is fully supported rather than cantilevered out we'll see how it feels when we get to that point for the moment we have a huge amount of clearing up to do because once we got it into the cabin it was so difficult to get in we did all the final cutting in here so loads of sawdust time to clear up that up and have dinner thanks for watching if you enjoyed it give us a thumbs up